video today i am going to show you some of the interesting features of 35 which was not there in the earlier version okay so these are basically viewing the process history and the user logins so basically for these two new feature you need a kind of administrator access in 35 okay no forget about that so first suppose you have a process on which you have worked in the past and now today you are told to work on it again and you realize that there are some changes done in this process by somebody okay? and you are not able to figure it out what are those changes because you have created this process a long back okay? now for example take this one let's create one process so here if you see currently the 35 user is Gotham okay and Gotham creates one process here okay and he gives the process as mm, name of the process as demo and he creates few steps you just see he added four five steps and then he saves it okay now if you refresh it says this, this these steps are created by Gotham and since it is created now so it is modified by this user only okay. now let's close 35 okay and now another user logs in into 35 okay and he is admin and this user can be any other user okay it is not that it should be admin only it can be any other user just assume it is some normal user what he does he opens this process okay and he also thought of doing something on this process so what he does he added one step in the end okay he changed the object to number he changed the accent to anything say set he attached one variable okay and then he saved the process okay now see now when you refresh it says that all the ever four steps was created by Gotham modified by Gotham and the last step is created by admin and modified by admin which is true actually now now if this user admin adds one step in the beginning okay any step Okay. and he saves the process and he saves the process and now refresh it and see what happens now if you see the first step is created by admin which is true modified by admin which is true and the remaining all four steps which was created created by Gotham and modified by Gotham now it is changed to modified by admin so whenever you add any steps in between of a process so all the following steps are getting changed by your name or by the current user so if I want to see what all changes are done in this process so what I can do I can select the process I can go to I can do a right click and then I can say view history so I will come to know okay so this process is actually created by this user Gotham on this date it is basically the insert process okay and then this user admin has basically changed the process okay so if you have multiple user who added the steps in between here and there and you don't and you are not able to figure it out then you can use this this feature to figure it out who is the user and who has done the updates and all this is one thing second thing if you want to know that this user admin what all changes he has done till now in this project okay what all things he has done so administrator can do that because a normal certified user will not, will not be able to do this thing so what an administrator can do he can go to tools menu and he can go to change history okay and he can see for all the users the report is here so you can filter it with some current user or some different user you can say Gotham or admin and then for 30 days 7 days or some other day you can give some date range here so or last one day you can search so you can see that this particular user has done so many things in 35 okay now you have a full report now he changed the process he changed the map he changed the process on this date that is the update map insert process update process there are many things he is getting to know now okay so this you can do for all the users or for any given user this is, this is basically how to view in the process history now suppose an administrator wants to know that in this 35 client how many users have logged in okay no matter from where it can be directly from certified client or from some other tool like HTML or some command line utility or some other thing 
so what he can do he can go to uh, tools again and he can say users login okay so it will give you the last seven day who all logged into certify so if you can see certify client okay means the certify which we see here and then who all users logged in when logged in what time for what duration they are logged in now this is something command line utility means from some command prompt or from some command uh, line means some some batch execution or something else from command line utility they have logged in into certify so this report is also for seven days and for all the users who all logged in into certify and this reports can be uh, exported into some a csv file it can be printed you can customize the report there are many columns you can add here okay user ids you can add so there are many things which you can do user ids are basically some unique id which certify mm, creates for each and every user okay user name is also unique user id is also unique so this is something which is something new in certify hope you liked it but remember there are certain these are the certain things for which you need admin access